every time I do art with people, there's always uh, an invitation to step into um, a, a space that people haven't been before and to figure something out. Well, I've, I've been an art therapist for many years, and it's, a, it's something in my life that just sustains me. And I think that the art teacher in me never really went away, I guess I would put it that way, because mm -hmm. I, even though I had uh, some experience working with individuals and enjoyed working with individuals, and a lot of art therapists work individually on one-on-one, -on -one, mm -hmm. um, I found that that just wasn't as interesting to me. I really liked working with groups. To me, they offer so much more than one person saying, well, tell me about that. It's, it's like if you have a whole group that's trying to figure something out, Definitely. you've got all these different perspectives and all these different ideas and possibilities. And so I thought that was really interesting. And I just started to think about art therapy as this um, mechanism that could also bring uh, larger groups together to mm -hmm. solve problems. And then I had an opportunity, because I've always spoken Spanish, Spanish is one of my languages, it's my second language, um, I had an opportunity, I got an invitation to um, work with a, a, a non-government organization in, in Nicaragua. And through a, a couple of connections, they found out about me and they said, could you come and um, help us figure out how to bring art into our, our work. So can you tell me um, in more detail and like what this looks like? It just sounds like such a huge task. <laughs> <laughs> like, did you have a, a specific um, issue you were trying to address or something you were trying to mm -hmm. see change? It's all driven by the community. I mean, mm -hmm. that's the first thing to say is that I'm not coming in with um, a set of solutions to a problem or even knowing what the problem is. Mm -hmm. um, it's really more coming from the other the other direction. And so, what this originally um, the original way that this was developed is that once a year they have like a leadership conference where they bring those community leaders together um, to sort of check in on what's happening in, within your projects, what is what are you facing, what obstacles are you facing, and what's the next step in that development. And so I come in and with art facilitate their planning process, their thinking process, their reflection process. So I'm not doing problem solving so much as I'm using helping them use art as a tool to help them um, do the both the um, problem naming and then also the, the solutions that come from the resources that they have. And art helps facilitate that. And do you um, come in with a specific, or not too specific, but a, a prompt or something that everyone should work on? and um, and how much do you talk about the work or mm -hmm. is it more of an independent workspace? One of the things that we discovered is that people were using some very similar imagery to describe um, experiences and uh, we started to look into where does that in imagery come from? Mm -hmm. So we did some uh, exploration around that and started to describe this as Nicaraguan archetypes, that these are archetypal forms that I Nicaraguans seem to share as part of their visual vocabulary. They really developed some very interesting metaphors for communicating and working through um, uh, community problems using visual imagery. But what I find so interesting about that, it's not my imagery, it's not coming from my culture, it's mm -hmm. not coming from the United States, it's not um, it's not even coming from a Western psychotherapy kind of orientation. It's literally coming from grassroots and from the culture there. Yes. And do you work with communities in the U.S. as well? What I've been trying to do with this information, I've been trying to bring what I've learned in Nicaragua back to the United States in a way that might help communities in the United States. So I have been involved in conversations around that. And also with um, in our training program as well, bringing in, so how is it that that we can think about community and community development and in, through models that we may not be using here in the United States that might be very effective. And so all kinds of possibilities can come from that. So I really think of the art as the magnet that attracts people, but you've got to have really strong relationships in order for any kind of transformation to happen. So anything that can strengthen that um, can really strengthen communities.